Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a number of ways to permanently disable automatic updates in Windows 10. Now the word permanent here is kind of relative because each of these approaches are fairly easily reversible as I'll be showing here as well. So terminate permanent is just to differentiate it from the readily available options in Windows that allow you to pause updates temporarily for anywhere from 7 days for basic settings and up to 35 days if you go through the advanced options. In either case, you can resume updates again either by manually re-enabling it using this resume update button or when the pause period expires. As for the permanently disabled updates which will be shown here, it can only be resumed manually by going back to the settings we'll be changing and reversing it from there. Now let me mention quickly here that updates are usually intended to improve the overall features and functions of Windows, enhancing security, resolving general Windows issues and bugs, integrating new features and so on. However, there could be situations where you don't want to have these updates downloading and installing automatically. Maybe you want to retain a specific version of Windows or you are running sensitive applications and wouldn't want any change in the state of Windows. Or just for any other reason, then any of the solutions here could come in handy. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first method which I think is the easiest would be to change the automatic update settings from Windows Services. To do this, simply right click on the taskbar and then select Task Manager. On the Task Manager, click on the Services tab. Then on the bottom of the window, here click on Open Services. Now on this services window, click on any service and then press the W key to take you to services beginning with letter W. There you can scroll down and find a service called Windows Update. It should be a bit further down. When you find it, double click to open the properties. And here under the startup type, it currently says manual. So to disable it, I will simply select disabled hit apply and then hit ok and that would pause the updates indefinitely now to resume the update again simply come back here and change the startup type back to either manual automatic or delayed start depending on what you want here we'll go with the manual which is the default hit apply and hit ok and that is it it's that simple The second method would be to go through the registry editor and to do that simply go to your search and type registry. You should see this registry editor from the search results. Click on that. Here in the registry editor, now there are different ways to do this but I prefer to just use the address bar. So here in the address bar you can simply copy and paste this address. You can find this from the video description or you can navigate to the following key. Here you just use the backward slash to progress to the right key or folder as you might want to term it. So here I will put the backward slash and select H key local machine as shown on the screen. Put another backward slash and select software. Then policies. Microsoft and then Windows. Now this needs to be put perfectly for this solution to be effective. Here right click on the Windows folder and select new then key. Here name the new key Windows update exactly as shown here. Next, right click on the newly created Windows Update key and select new again, then key and here name the key AU exactly as shown. Now select the AU key and then on the right side, right click and select new again. Now this time select D word 32 bit value as shown on the screen. 
Now name the DWORD value. No auto update as shown on the screen. Then double click on it and set the value data to one. Then hit OK. Now close the registry editor and restart your computer. Upon restarting, automatic Windows update will be disabled on your computer. And if you wish to re-enable automatic updates in the future, simply return to this registry editor and delete the no auto update DWORD value that you created. Restart your computer afterwards and that should resume regular Windows updates again. The third method would be to go through the group policy settings. Now this applies only to Windows 10 Pro Edition. So if you are running a Windows 10 Home Edition, then the first or second method should work pretty well for you. But if you have a Windows 10 Pro Edition, then in addition to the first and second methods, you can also change the group policy settings to permanently pause your Windows updates until you decide to turn it back on. To do that, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the run dialog box. Here type in gpedit.msc as shown on the screen and press enter. Now this will open the group policy editor. In the group policy editor under computer configuration, double click on administrative templates. Then windows components. Now here scroll down to where it says windows update. That's almost at the very bottom. Double click on that. Here search for configure automatic updates and double click on it. Now that should pop out this dialog box. Here simply select disabled from the option and then click OK. Now back here search for no auto restart with locked on users for scheduled automatic updates installations and double click on it as well. Then select Enabled, click OK. Now close the group policy editor and restart your computer. Now with that, Windows will no longer automatically download and install updates and will not automatically restart after installing updates either. Once again, it's important to keep in mind that disabling automatic updates can leave your computer vulnerable to security threats. So it's recommended that you regularly manually check for updates and install them as needed. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.